probably like most head teachers, it's always important to capitalise and, and make the best of, of everything that you have. And when I was appointed to the school as head teacher, I, I, I'm being really honest, I struggled to get my head around what, what the sole provider of Gaelic medium education meant. And I think on the surface it looked as if, well, okay, it's, it, means, it means two teachers, or it means 2.2 teachers, and they teach children Gaelic. But obviously, coming in and then scratching the surface of that, it was the realisation it wasn't about what we could deliver in terms of Gaelic language. It was about how we could have a much more immersive curriculum through the broad general education and how we could widen the provision that we had for young people. So within, I think within four years in the school, we had expanded from 2.2 when I started up to 5.6 members of staff within the department and covering approximately 10 subjects eh, across the range of broad general education. It started off at, at looking at the pool of staff that we had and, and seeing, first of all, what are your qualifications? Uh, is it solely GME? Are there other subjects that you did as part of your degree? Is there something we could look at in terms of accreditation? Right, what could we do here to, to diversify within the curriculum so we can expand our curriculum without the need to eat away staffing that we're stealing from elsewhere. When you look at what we can offer in the broad general education in this school, it absolutely blows my mind that, that young people can, can learn French through the medium of Gaelic, that young people can learn English through the medium of Gaelic, as well as all the social subjects we've now expanded to include science in the delivery of that. And you think, gosh, what, what a richness of experience. But it does come at a cost. It comes at a cost not just the financial costs in terms of the growth within the Gaelic department, but the impact that that has on the, the English stream of the school in terms of how we timetable and how we staff. So it was about having these really rich conversations and thinking, OK, we've got the vision about where we would like it to go, but how do we actually do that while maximising what we can do in the rest of the school, but also making sure that we're taking the rest of the school with us? Hugely impressed by the just the network that exists amongst amongst the Gaelic speaking fraternity and everybody, everybody has a contact. For example, for Gaelic drama, we, we became we became very fixed on, on offering a, a, a real richness of, of, of drama experience and we worked with partners, eh, people who, who were freelance, who worked for the BBC, BBC Alba, and, and we used a lot of the Film G stuff that, that we did in the school, uh, eh, contacts through the mod to, to, to work on our, our music and so on. But we were then able to, to work really closely with the music service. We have a class lab teacher comes into school. So we were able to add real richness to the curriculum in, in terms of extracurricular experiences. And then as the department grew and we were getting new faces in, it was about, right, what about immersive experiences? How can we team up with partner schools, maybe in, in a, the islands, and, and we can use our contacts there. So we're using digital learning, but we're also doing visits up there. We're doing immersive weeks where, it, you know, you're only speaking Gaelic. So there was a huge richness came into the curriculum in terms of being able to work with partners. And actually that became for us something that we're thinking, right, how can we how can we learn from that model we've created within Gaelic and how can we replicate that within our English stream? The one thing that, that, that I suppose is a something block, and it's not just in Green Falls, it is a, 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 I believe a national phenomenon, is how do we get how do we get young people to to pursue into the senior phase learning and, and assessment in the medium of Gaelic for their other subjects? It's about taking these tiny steps so that we're seeing, we're seeing that Gaelic doesn't stop at the end of the BGE unless you're doing Gaelic language. It's about getting that growth. 